My name is Shannon. I'm Emanuela. I'm Sarah. I'm Shu. And, and we, we just, just made, made a documentary. documentary. <laughs> I kind of came across visual storytelling since starting here at Carleton. I, before I only really knew how to write, I didn't know how to edit or film or anything. And I just kind of fell in love with it coming here. And I found this story and I, I've been thinking about it for the entire summer. And I knew I wanted to take the documentary course and use that as an opportunity to tell the story. And I was really glad I did. I knew that I wanted to take the video documentary class because I've always been passionate about it. And I've done a documentary before. It's just I never really had that journalistic aspect of it. So I took those two and I combined it and I had so much fun doing it. To be able to work with something long term and really go into depth with a story visually for me is one of my passions. People are the same. It's universal. Like the soul is universal everywhere. I'm I like journalism, no matter it's in China or it's in Canada, I find it's a good cover or excuse. You can just get access to people who you are really interested in and just say I'm a journalist, I want to ask you these questions and then you know the person and you behind the lens and just observe these people sometimes in a really close and intimate way that I really, really enjoy. Secret War is, is basically follows the story of two veterans who came back from the war in Afghanistan and who uh, struggled with the trauma they faced there and PTSD specifically. Um, and we follow those two veterans on their journey to, to sort of find peace. I never really suspected I had PTSD. I just thought that, you know, this was a normal reaction to, to coming back from Afghanistan. You know, I was uh, medicating myself by drinking. I had to struggle with that for, for a number of years. I was driving home from work and I wanted to play chicken with the semi-truck. And that's when it hit me, being a medic, we were told to see the signs in patients. And that hit me, it's like, okay, why do I wanna do this? I pulled over onto the shoulder of the road, took the keys out of the ignition of my vehicle, put them into the passenger seat, got out of my vehicle, and sat on the side of the road and just cried. For soldiers who serve overseas, often the return home is the hardest part. Traditional therapies don't work for everyone with PTSD. For those still searching for peace, a new program is available. It's called The War Horse Project. They're all been giving these labels of PTSD. And all of a sudden, it's a conviction, it's, it's a label, they're not normal, they're damaged goods. We want to take that label, remove that label, redefine normal. What is their new normal? The organizers were very keen to do this with us, and they created two, um, two war horse projects in the same day. So one was for us for the documentary, and then the other was for the people that didn't want to participate. So we were really lucky that turned out the way it did. Roger really, really spoke to me. I felt like I had this personal connection with Roger. I think it was because he, I, we went into it thinking he'd be the hardest to, to talk to, to get to, open up to us. And after we were there, we were, we were at his house and he, he let loose. He let all of his barriers down and uh, he had such a powerful story. Um, and he was a happy guy. I mean, a lot of the times I think there's the perception that People with PTSD are miserable and they have, you know, terrible lives and whatnot. And, and yes, he goes through a lot of struggles, but he was a happy guy. He was a hopeful guy. He had found the light at the end of the tunnel, and I think that was so inspiring for us. Um, yeah, he was a fabulous, fabulous character. When we had to film the scene where both our two veterans were riding the horses, that was really challenging because we only have one camera. So trying to capture those precious moments, because it was for them that special moment where they had a connection with the horse, making sure that we captured that properly was challenging and also having to chase them and going around. They were on the horses at the same time, so that was a bit challenging for us. It's not necessary how the shots help to visualize the PTSD. It's more like the pause and the breathe when the interviewees talk. When they stop, when they just look into the camera. Maybe it's not a cover shot, it's not a B-roll, it's just the way how they look into the camera and they just stop. 
sometimes they have tears, but sometimes they don't have. You can feel the tension, and I think that brings us a lot. And sometimes the music helps a lot. We had a really great、uh, composer for our piece. I'd say my favorite shot is the spider, because behind the spider in the web, you can see people on the ranch and just interacting with the horses. It's great. I know that in the future,、um, uh, I want to work as a journalist, but I want to incorporate video documentary with that. So to be able to take the best of both worlds would be ideal for me. We know we're gonna make a good team, and the two people are really. Good at interviewing people and find the story pictures. They're always on the top of the schedule. And me and Manuela, we're just like visual people. We're crazy. We're creative, and so that's how the team worked and worked really well. Everyone that we had filmed for the documentary was there. They were present for the screening, and I think I was most nervous, you know, watching them and watching their reaction, because I mean we're telling some really personal stories here. And afterwards, when I, I spoke to them, they were so pleased with the results. That's what to me that was winning, you know. Um, afterwards, now we want to tell the story kind of to a broader audience. You know, we don't want it just to, to be, you know, closed up here in Carlton. We want we want the whole country to see this story, and so we're kind of working at ways to to push to that. So、uh, hopefully, this isn't the last time we work together, but it was the first time.、Yeah. wasn't so bad, was it, girls?、Uh, sometimes、no. I would really want to kill all of you, but <laughs> eventually. <laughs> You hit it well. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. We pulled it off. But in the end, it was so rewarding to work with such talented women.